Jackson is the ultimate test of man and machine. The rules are very simple. Get to the top as fast as possible. Most only see the success, but it's what goes on behind the scenes that determines who gets to the top. Jackson 2023. I went to Chris and I didn't really know how to cover Jackson. And we sat down with Kyle uh, because a week before Jackson, Kyle actually ended up uh, injuring his knee, as you guys know. Um, we decided let's capture everything that never gets captured at Jackson. All the stuff that goes into making sure these sleds are running tip top shape for the athletes so that the only variable is the athletes themselves. So March 17th, here we go. 5.30 in the morning, Kyle and I are heading to Afton, Wyoming. Go see Andy Thomas and the players race team. Now, is there anyone out there who wants to go fast? Anybody? I want to go fast. Hey, get him a suit. I was hoping to still turn around and go back up the hill like full oh, You're lying! Relax. My fire! Come there on, is fire. no fire! My fire! Huh? Right, come back here! I think it's five in the morning and we're heading to Jackson. <laughs> we're gonna go do it. We're doing it for the whole week. We're not backing out on our original plans. I just, uh, be a little bit different spotlight. I'll be sliding, I'll be penguin sliding down Jackson. <laughs> what are you doing, Kyle? <laughs> oh, it's as fast as this truck goes. All right. Get back to it. Between last night and this morning, we have two complete engine swaps, one full engine rebuild, a couple skids built. That was pretty productive. A couple days, there's some or hours really. There's some really uh, talented wrench hands in there. You can tell I pulled out faster than I pulled in. Because the roost I put on my bumper because I was hauling so much ass backing up. You know, it's how you keep your skills sharp, you just gotta practice. It's been a while since my state title, but I'm still I still got it. I still got it for sure. We should have a time competition. Hey, hey. <laughs> Afton World Championship, Andy's um, driveway backup championship. We're gonna have we're gonna have a start line and a finish line, like right at the garage and right at the road. Um, Keith, Andy and me. We're facing off. I don't get to race this year, so I gotta beat him somehow. Here, I'm complaining. Look at this guy. But I'm definitely taking one of these things. New whip, who gets? This thing's got three speeds. Here, there, and it's gone. We got chicken, sushi, rice, everything. We're good. Okay. We got I'm food. Just for those of you that don't know this, and for those, I don't know if he'll really appreciate it, but if there's a man at Polaris, he is the man. He's the guy that's taking care of me in a lot of ways, and probably one of the reasons, the only reasons why I'm a part of this, honestly. So we like to mess with each other a little bit so what you're saying is it's perfectly okay to run them over when you're in the well yeah how would you know you let you love them if you don't just work you do a little rubbins racing man that's right and gone one plus with this uh this style of shopping you can snack while you you want those <laughs> you can snack while you drive the cow goes hey would you uh return this here thing for me because we packed parked all the way to the back of the parking lot Sure, Kyle, no problem. Just let me get yelled at by every handy. Oh, God. 
Every handicapped person. Come on. You can't take your weight off the seat. I'm not. Oh, here we go. go. Thanks for the ski pole, bud. <laughs> Dude, this thing's got to go faster. No, that's it. Oh, uh, this is bad. So, last night, we updated some stuff on the Thomas Rose Racing Team sleds. We're pretty close to finishing their stuff up. Keith Curtis is about to show up. We're going to update a bunch of his sleds, do some things to his stuff, and we're going to go up the hill and work on some tuning. Make sure everything runs like a top. Community mechanic shop. <laughs> We're gonna mess this thing up. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. Sorry, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> You just really wouldn't want to be that guy who put something together wrong on Keith Curtis's sled and it cost him a run at Jackson. So, a little nervous. When you work on your own stuff, people say, work on it as if it was your own. I'm like, I take less pride in my own than working on others because if I mess this stuff up, it'd be way worse. Way worse. Just got done destroying KC's sled. Sabotage race season. Destroying it. He's super tuned. <laughs> this one guy that go faster. <laughs> <laughs> On disposed location, we're going to put some of that wrenching we were talking about last night to work. Uh, so, once again, to go through the list, Player Skies and myself and Blake got here about 5 o'clock last night. We did two engine swaps, one full engine rebuild, then just whatever else needed to be done on them. Got them race ready. Hopefully, we're gonna go do some testing and tuning. We're gonna start on stock boost. We're working on ECU calibrations. We're gonna try to lean them things down a little bit, get a little better fuel economy. If you know what I mean. Lean and mean is the win is the key to success. But look at it. We got. So we'll do some specific tests in this field here, and we'll have data loggers on each snowmobile. Come back. The engineers will read the data. Go off of what their knowledge and their experience on what they think they can do to make it better throw a new cal in another lap throw a new cal in another lap throw a new cal in another lap and then the fine tuning things like clutching and stuff will come in after that but yeah so that's the program for today but for now we're gonna go they got some lunch for us so we're gonna go smash some sushi and rice and then we'll get after it you can't work on an empty stomach that just doesn't work This freaking kid. He just don't quit. Oh, you got the camera out. Don't show people that I'm a pussy. We good? Okay. Tons of clutching, tons of tuning. It's a good day. Um, sun's going down. We just made our super cross picks. Everybody put 40 bucks in. We'll see who wins that. My guy's gonna be driving up into the sunset. Moon win. I'm gonna make I some gotta money get enough money to get my cowboy hat. <laughs> Sexton's in the third? That was between you and I. You can hold on to it. You can give it back. Sexton got around the other one. As long as we're still being controlled. Put her where it's up the inside right here makes that move in the rhythm section so he's now into fourth that's where he was fourth it'll be interesting to see what happened the 51 of justin barsha but i hated to see this right here it gets no closer than that my heart hurts for aaron plessinger it gets no closer he said in an interview that he had sat down in that rut the whole time and the one time he didn't it got him so
as you can see so far, there's a ton of prep that goes into Jackson. We had six Polaris engineers, Kyle, myself, Andy, Cole, Tanner, Thomas, all working pretty much until 1 a.m. like every night uh, just to get ready to get these guys on the hill to carve a practice course in. So there's more challenges that come with that, right? So now we have to take all of the engineers' computers, uh, car battery actually, that powers everything, to get onto the hill. So we have to strap everything to our sleds to get to the hill to let these guys test. And that's where the fun really starts. Well, we came to our practice hill, which is sick. Brought the computers and some loggers. We're gonna make sure our sleds run. It's cool. Got all the big dogs here. It's gonna be fun. Tell you what, we got the whole entire A team from Old Polaris sitting down there. We've been, the boys have been giving her today. I bet they burnt probably 40 gallons of gas between the three of them. Um, we got some new mod cheater codes in these uh, nine mods, and they look pretty insane. Andy let me drive it up here just to take a peek at the hill. Woohoo! Here that thing comes. Oh, well, that ain't it. These boys are on it. There ain't nothing, there ain't no way around it. Oh boy! Oh cool! That was really bad timing. <laughs> you haven't done that all day. You waited until we got the cameras here. <laughs> We never really concluded yesterday. Yesterday, it's pretty cool what Polaris does for this race team. They sent like six of their best guys out, which they do every year, to help just, I mean, go through everything on the sleds. Like, there's a whole nother level of like, being a good rider and having a good feel for the sled and setting your sled up good, but when you're looking at like, data to the nines and clutching to the nines on, data loggers and logging and they can really dial these things in. So yesterday, that day was spent um, on the hill, dialing stuff in and out. Today, we see a bunch of the other racers coming. We'll be putting a lot of the same stuff in their sleds. So, like, we put in the work yesterday, it's a little more efficient with less guys around versus trying to tune on everybody's sled. It's just too much of a mess. So now everybody's here today. We're gonna put a lot of them same settings in their sleds and make sure they're happy with it. Now we're gonna go ripping. Um, you can see Emil here, their next door neighbor, came all the way from Sweden. He's an absolute stud. Um, it's pretty cool to have him around. He's going to be racing Jackson. He's going to be racing mod classes too. Going to head to head with the best of the best. Jackson Hall is the, I mean, it's the biggest thing you can compete in. So to just make it to the top, make a good race, get to the finals and do the best there, that's my goal. Um, I appreciate it so much to have this support from Polaris and meet all the athletes and I mean I have seen Keith Curtis all the years 
riding and now I'm here and riding with the top guys in the world. It's, it's a crazy feeling. Jackson week, like going up to it, you really try to tell yourself the whole time it's just another race, no big deal, but it's not. <laughs> Jackson, like uh, for the hill climbing thing, it's like the mecca of the sport. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, an, it's a different intensity. Uh, Jackson to me is the, the pinnacle of all races. Um, it's, it's where all the pride and glory happens. Although the other races, we all have the same competitors and um, it, it's all challenging, but Jackson uh, just, just brings that vibe with it um, and carries a big punch. Go up the hill and it'll be a show up there. Yeah. Cop, Harling, Monroe, Rainey, the Thomases. It'll be a good one. He even brought the whole family out for this one. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, it's just a little ways off the trail. It's like little lands in the one street. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Wouldn't be Jackson prep without a nice head ball. Yeah, it's a whole family deal, man. This racing stuff's fun and, uh, you know, goes more than just blood. All the teammates and everybody at Polaris is all kind of helping out and digging in. So it's a good atmosphere to show my kids what it's like. And where are we now? We're at Ace? Ace. I'm going to get a little toolbox so I can swap A-arms faster than anyone in this freaking country. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I am buying a little toolbox so I can have tools in the pits. So what shopping with Kyle contains right here. Tools. I love tools. <laughs> 973. Hell yeah. 1,022.55. Go to Jackson. Go <laughs> to Jackson. Did you want a bag for these things? The last five days have been spent uh, rebuilding sleds, building sleds, fixing sleds, replacing stuff on sleds that didn't need to be replaced just for peace of mind type things. Um, we built two completely new nine mods for Keith and Andy, which are absolute rocket ships. Like the only thing Keith and Andy asked for was to slow them down so they could ride them. They're that fast. So that was really cool. Um, we found out Wednesday morning Literally, on our way to Jackson. We're on our way to Jackson. We find out, we get a call that Chris can't race, which was totally kind of caught us off guard. It's not what we were expecting, but it is what it is. We'll be, he'll, we'll bring him back next year. Um, yeah, everything's ready to go for the guys, and now it's time to 
now it's time to put it to work and for me to cross my fingers, I didn't leave any bolts loose or leave any zip ties unzipped. 